Chris 6 News at Noon continues. Welcome back, everybody. Some of you, you know, we had this debate here, think that Christmas is over the day after Christmas. No, it's not, because obviously uh, we're still celebrating Christmas because it goes all the way through the Feast of the Epiphany. And of course, if you don't know what that is, well, then there's an opportunity to learn. What is the Feast of the Epiphany? Well, the Epiphany celebrates the coming of the three kings to visit the Christ child. It always happens 12 days after Christmas, hence the song 12 Days of Christmas. There you go. Christmas is technically day one. Epiphany is day 12. There you go. So, so for the last 38 years, they've been performing this uh, Yule, let's see, Boar's Head and Yule Log uh, celebration, uh, celebrating the Epiphany. Now we have the Lord and Lady of the, of the house here, right? Well, tell us what, who they are. Well, this is a Terry and Richter priest, and they're the head Lord and Lady, or at least in costume today, and they represent the whole manor house. And it's their manor house that comes to celebrate and to retell the Christmas story. Well, and this is a kind of goes back to the medieval times, medieval times, right? It does. It's literally been. Uh, uh, played and played out in manor houses back to medieval England, came over with the colonists to the United States. And who's this little guy? <laughs> this is Atlee McCampbell. He's one of our sprites. Uh, four <laughs> years ago, he was baby Jesus, and then he was the angel, and now oh, he's a sprite. He's grown up. He's growing up. And that's an example of what happens with our church and the 10 or 12 other churches that help put it on, is people grow up in these roles. We've got fourth generation uh, kids now involved. I, I was amazed at fourth generation, but you were telling me these costumes were original from 38 years ago. They are. They look they pretty look good. They look gorgeous. They look terrific. Now, yeah. we've got some video of the performance. It's And, and the, there's, of course, the guy who doesn't have fun at the, at the party, <laughs> uh, the, the boar's head. But uh, this is a cast of thousands, right? Well, maybe not quite thousands, but certainly about eight, 180 people in costume. 180 Another people. 50 or so in the choir and the orchestra and handbells. And then there's another 30 people behind the scenes just making it all happen. So it is uh, the retelling of the story of the, the, the arrival of the Magi mm -hmm. uh, uh, on the uh, Epiphany. But is it, is it a worship ceremony? How do you um, describe it? Not this? exactly. In a, it's not a, a formal worship service. Uh, it's really a, we call it a festival, but it's an hour-long pageant. And the first half is secular in that the manor house begins to prepare and they get entertained and they're singing and dancing. And then there's an angel's announcement. This year, the angel announcement is going to be by our mayor, Joe McComb. Joe McComb is an angel? He's, I know. Can you imagine that? And come see, if you want to see him in a gown, come to this. You'll see him in a, a long, <laughs> flowing gown. Joe McComb is an angel in there this you production. Go. Who, who knew that? <laughs> And, well, and then, then we go into the part where we retell the Christmas story for the last time. And hour. it's invited to everyone. Free. I uh, invite the whole community. Uh, there is no charge, uh, but we invite people to bring canned goods. There you go. So it's at five, 3, 5, and 7 p.m. on this coming Saturday. Uh, and uh, it's, it's a wonderful production. It's been going on for a long time. A lot of committed people, and he's one of them. <laughs> Thank you for joining us. So we'll be back with a final look at your forecast coming up in a moment. Say bye, little Sprite. Bye. Bye, wait, bye.